Let's begin with our market panel. BD8 Capital Partners CEO Barbara Duran and G Squared Private Wealth CIO Victoria Green. It's great to have you both here. Barb, I'll start with you. Uh, S&P 500 settling here. It looks like at 5248. We're coming up on the end of the month. We're also coming up on the end of the quarter. We've had five straight months of gains for the S&P. Can it continue here? Are we really poised for a pullback? Well, I think people have been looking for a, a pullback you know, since the beginning of January after such a big run at the end of the year. But it's a bull market, and bull markets tend to make new highs. I think the question here is we've had such a quick, hard run. I think some kind of stutter step in here would be normal. But I think what we're seeing this last month or so, you know, tech is not as aggressive. The NVIDIAs of the world, they're rolling over a little bit, which would be normal, you know, profit taking there. And I think you're seeing a nice broadening out in the market, whether it's in energies, financial materials, um, some commodities. So I think you're going to continue to see opportunities in the market. I still think, and I've thought, you know, for a few months here, it is a stock picker's market. And you can make hay and you just buy on pullbacks. I think this churning is going to be normal. Everybody seems to be, you know, expecting a soft landing. The Fed made it clear last week. They think they're close to their, you know, close to uh, making a decision. And they still talked about three rates. And, of course, this, what got this started was in the fall, the Fed indicated they had reached you know, peak rates. And the question now is how many? But that even that doesn't seem to matter because in the beginning of the year, people expected six. The market seemed to discount that. And now we're expecting three, maybe two, and the market's still going higher. And I think that's simply because the outlook for corporate earnings is very strong. Victoria, do you see it the same way, especially since I know you've been, I think, as you've put it in your own words, constructively bullish for, for a while now? <laughs> It's a bull market now. Everybody just needs to accept that. And actually, we're running behind where the bull markets of 2009 and 2020 were. So this is just a very normal bull. We actually just released our second quarter outlook. And, and what we said is this is just a normal bull market. Everybody stop freaking out. This is what happens in bull markets. Nobody believes it the first few months. Everybody doubts it the next few months. Eventually, people catch up. We still have tons of cash on the sidelines. But as we mentioned, fundamentals are there. Earnings are growing. I think we're going to see increases in productivity that can continue continue to drive earnings growth. And that broadening out is just fantastic. Energy and value leading a little bit. For me, that says this baton can pass a little bit between just the mega caps. I'm still a buyer, though, of most of the mega caps. If they dip, I think that's still a good place to pick things up. But I think any dip is going to be so short-lived because there are many investors waiting for their chance to get in. And I think if you continue to wait, you might get burned. We saw this in multiple bull markets of the past. If you keep waiting for that other shoe to drop, you may be sitting out a very very long time. Yeah. I mean, after 2023, it's like a bull riding a bull, though. That's unusual to see. A lot of people <laughs> didn't expect it. Barb, I, I, you mentioned the, the necessity in some cases to trim from some big gainers here. But in a market like this, where do you put it when you trim? You don't want to stay in cash, I imagine, for too long, even though that might be tempting. Yeah, that, that is tempting, but that is that is a quandary because, you know, for instance, a lot of people are talking about small cap. Their time is coming with interest rates being cut. I still think it's a bit early for that trade because it really is dependent on interest rates being cut. Given that credit is tight for small businesses, they're the ones who have more leverage and so on and so on. And the Fed probably, you know, if they do three cuts this year, it'll be in the latter half and it's going to be incremental so that the, the cuts will show up over time and not immediately. So and I think, you know, Industrials have, there's been good names, whether it's Eaton or the materials, uh, Martin Marietta, things like this, or in defense, where people are wait, trying to find, you know, bargains there. But I think you can just wait for pullbacks. You know, as you know, a week or so ago, I mentioned a video as my top pick. Well, since then, it's pulled back a lot. So that is a name. You are still going to make a ton of money. So you can wait for those kind of pullbacks, you know, and add back in. But I think you have your shopping list ready and, um, and you wait. So and I think right now it's tough for investors to wait because you know it's a bull market. Where should I be? But some of the names that you've been in are the place to stay because they will continue to grow and, uh, and make money. So you just have to be patient.